Far above the Arctic Circle each spring, these huge mammals migrate past the northernmost town in the United States, Barrow, Alaska. We got seven buckets, seven table. And native Alaskans here count on the annual whale harvest to survive. The beauty of the whale is what we see out here, what was created by God, and we respect him and honor him and give him thanks once we are blessed with a whale. It is difficult to explain just how important Arctic wildlife is to native Alaskans living in this part of the world. They depend on the animals for food and clothing. This is the jawbone of a bowhead whale, an animal virtually sacred to native Alaskans living along the coastline. Each year, the men head out in seal skin boats to go after bowhead whales. And that animal can be massive. I mean massive. These two bones represent the jaw of one bowhead whale that can reach 60 tons. There are only a handful of whaling captains like Ned Array in each town. A position of prestige and power in native villages. Array took us some 15 kilometers out on the jagged sea ice to understand what goes into whaling and how this world is being affected by climate change. The people that hunt out in this ocean was passed on from tradition to tradition from our forefathers and we have been taught to respect the ocean, the land, the sea, and hunt what we harvest to feed the community. This is how teenagers in the community work their way onto a whaling boat, back-breaking work called breaking trail clearing a path to open water so Array and others can bring their sleds, tents, boats, everything they need to hunt. But life is changing here. Over the years, it has uh, kind of changed to the ice being a little bit thinner over the course of time. In the last 30 years, almost half of the polar ice has melted. Thinning ice is a big problem because whaling crews need thick ice to drag the whale onto once it's been harpooned. It's a spiritually, culturally, nutritionally an extremely important animal and has been for um, various estimates go back a thousand, two thousand years. Craig George has been researching whales in Barrow for more than 40 years. He's used to seeing people line up in Barrow to receive their cut of whale once one is harvested. But George says it's not just melting sea ice that threatens whaling and this way of life. Oil and gas exploration and the potential risks it brings could be coming here now that ice is melting and ships are now going where they never could before. Yeah, it's a concern. Oil spills are probably the biggest threat from, from offshore oil and gas, although uh, ship collisions uh, are a possibility. It's been beneficial to see and observe and sighting whales already and harvesting seals and providing for our immediate family and loved ones in home that are craving for some of this uh, native food. It's a harsh lifestyle made more difficult by climate change. But right now, no one here is ready to surrender culture and heritage, no matter how much the elements alter their native environment. Sean Caleb, CCTV, Barrow, Alaska.